Who I did last time. No idea. Can't remember? No idea. Okay. Do you think it would come to you? Maybe. I'll just throw it out there. I'll throw it out there. Do you need practice tools? Yeah, You're pra- recording. Practice a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go check it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. You're so good at that. And I'm just sitting there going, shall I practice a bit ooze? I was about to start doing practice ooze. Like, I, I know. Like, what do you think of this ooze, Grant? Ooh. Like, you know, <laughs> thanks. All right. I love it. <laughs> Last week on But I Won't Do That Ooh That <laughs> makes me wonder It's not how you did it No, it's I can't like, remember how I did it That was a week ago, Grant people is, A week ago People are supposed to think that we're like professionals And I've gone over here you know, Said that, and then I go cut a clip from last week's podcast, and then I put it into this week's, just like they do on the TV telly shows. I, I don't think anyone's under any illusion that we have in any way or whatever know what we're doing. Well, welcome back to part two of Stairway to Heaven on But I Won't Do That, a weekly ish podcast where myself, John, myself, John Menzies. <laughs> are you John Menzies? I'm John I was Menzies this week. Am I John Menzies or are you John Menzies? Am I Grant or are you Grant? I can you, confused. Can you do a Grant Mullen impersonation? Ready? You do it. All right. Hi, I'm Grant. What Far out, really? Did you like that? That was good. Yeah. I, I, do you want to hear my John Menzies? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Hi, I'm John Menzies. Holy shit! I oh, know, it's that realistic, isn't it? Do you want to do the intro? You're good at voices. Do you want to do the intro this week in my voice? I will do the right. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome along to this week's podcast, part two of Stairway to Heaven on But I Won't Do That, a weekly ish podcast where myself, John Menzies, and my good friend, Grant Mullen, go toe to toe on the lyrics that you love. <coughs> oh, Sorry, John, it hurts my voice too. That was do heaps better than the way that I normally do it. I thought it was a bit shit, personally. I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I try my best. I think you should do it from now on. But do you know that I heard that this song here is a song that you personally sung? <laughs> And I didn't even know that you knew how to speak Russian in the first place. So, Mate, I've been singing in Russian for years. Vladimir Putin, he often has me over. Wants me. I mean, I don't go anymore after what he's done. No, I was going to say, it's a bit tasteless. Yeah, absolutely. But no, I, I can sing in... I can't speak in Russian. Like no. I couldn't. I can only make it up. <laughs> but I can sing phonetically in Russian. Go ahead. You know what? I'm not, war- I'm not warmed up, Grant. I can, um, otherwise, I would, of course, sing in Russian, which I am perfectly well suited. I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes just the worst to you. I put you, you are. I put you on the spot so often, and you never do it to me. You are the kind one. I don't think to. I, I just go home, drive home, and realise you've just bullied me for any. <laughs> <laughs> What you, you come for the food and the whiskey and the <laughs> yeah and then and then you know I get and then drive you know, home I get knocked down to size I really do <laughs> drive home crying every week. <laughs> Hey, so welcome along to part two. If you took part in our competition uh, by now, you will have um, been tagged as a winner on our Facebook page. We're not well going done, to... Brian Smith of Infamay. <laughs> We're not going to... <laughs> I, just made... I made that up. Brian Smith of Infamay, if you're listening, you haven't won. <laughs> and we hate you. And that would be... Although, no. if you are Brian of Infamay, yeah. you know what? You win a prize because of the random name I just threw out there. All right. If there is a Brian Smith from Invermay... He wins a book. I'll give him... What? I don't know. More... Look, there's a set of steak knives. Or something. Like, because that would be... I've got, a ba- I've got a bag of cutlery. Let's give him that. We'll give him a bag of cutlery and a book. And a $20 op shop voucher. Nah. I no? Stuff him. Yeah, stuff him. I actually hate him. I do. I think I do. the reason why he was at front of mind is because yeah. of all the hate mail he's been sending us. Yeah. Prick. I mean, you... I mean, he loves me, but, you know. But he doesn't specifically say that, does he? I mean, you open the Yeah, mail. he does. I mean, I know I don't show, I, I don't show you because I don't want to upset you, but it's, he says some <clears throat> um, terrible things about you, and it's almost as if I'm just making it up to knock your confidence, <laughs> but I'm really, really not. Are you just bullying me back? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the bullying goes both ways. Well, you're a big poo-poo head. Yeah, well, you smell a wee, whatever. Hey, you said you wouldn't say anything about that. It's genetic. 
My so, grandma smelled of weed. I know, look, the, all the Mullins smell of weed, <laughs> and nobody talked about it. <laughs> It's genetic. You just said it was genetic. Oh, you are the worst kind of <laughs> asshole. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the last ever episode of But I Won't Do That, <laughs> which was formerly a weekly podcast in which someone won a show bag. And once, once upon a time. Anyway, well done uh, to the winner of the show bag. You can find out who the winner is on our Facebook page. That's right. exciting. I'm looking forward to finding out who's won. Do you know That'd why I'm not announcing it? On this podcast. Why are you not announcing Because it, we're recording this about six weeks ahead of when we're actually running the competition. So I've got no idea who's won. But Wow, you know what? If Brian Smith actually wins, I am a prophet. Okay, you heard it first. Uh, sorry, I'm just Brian's writing Brian's actually down. writing it down. <laughs> Brian Smith of Invermate. He's writing the madness down. It's getting worse. Do you know what I'm going to do in three or four weeks' time? I'm going to look for a Brian Smith from Invermate and on just send Facebook. It to him no, at random. And invite him to the page just so he can hear his butch Oh, shit. welcome, Brian Smith. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? I wonder how many Brian Smiths we can get. I wonder if we can be the number one it, Brian Smith related if, podcast okay. in the world. So here's the challenge. If you yeah. know a Brian Smith, and this is fair to him, listeners, if you know a Brian Smith, please invite him to our Facebook page and tag him in part two of this week's podcast. Because we are collecting Brian Smiths yeah. and at the end of the year we're going to get them to fight. I, I would be dressed yeah. as Larry Combs. <laughs> I would be <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say dressed as. Like I was almost like Trying to mind read what you were saying, dressed as, and you're like, yeah, cool. so that came out like way slower than you said it in my mind. No, um, I did. I, I, I slightly mangled it at the beginning because I didn't know where I was going. I, I, was, I was only going to be lesbians, leopards, <laughs> <laughs> light aircraft. <laughs> light aircraft or, 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 thankfully, it was leprechauns, and it wasn't Giuseppe Lampedusa. He wrote a very good book called The Leopard, which I had to read in year 12, and that's all I know about that book is that I had well, to read it. Good. Yes. I think it was a book on leadership. But what was I going to say? Okay, so we don't know who the winner is. The winner's on the Facebook page. Go ahead. Your show bag has got a potato, some bamboo spoons. Bamboo spoons? Mm. Bamboo spoons? Bamboo spoons. Bamboo spoons. Bamboo spoons. Somebody's going to get bamboo Bamboo spoons. (laughs) T-shirt with the winning picture of myself and John. And you know what? We are beautiful. You have got no idea how gorgeous we are. If... If you win this T-shirt, it yeah. will increase your attractiveness by about 20%. Guaranteed. Not actually guaranteed. No, the guarantee is I've already printed the guarantee on the shirts. Brilliant. Done. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. So well, we've we got to get into it. Otherwise, it's going to be part, come apart three and then we'll lose all our listeners. So yes, all right. we promised to finish it this week. All right. Let's. Fi- you know what? Should we fire away? Let's fire away. I'm going to fire away. So I'm go- reading from the lyrics of Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. We're about halfway through. Part du. Part du. Two. Still nice or paper. B. It is nice paper. Yeah. All part right. part F. Part F. For the dyslexics amongst us. <laughs> and I've just signed it in Australian Sign Language. <laughs> and it's whispering that soon. And, and whispering? As whispered. As whispered. And it's whispered that soon. That soon, as in it's whispered soon. So did he go. Or is it whispered that soon something is gonna happen? And it's whispered. Or is it, and it's whispered that. Well, the next line goes. Oh. If we all call the tune. What's that yelling out? Hey. It's going to be bloody stairway to heaven. Hey, wait a minute. That rhymes. <laughs> wait, hold on. Have we actually got a song that rhymes here? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm sure some others have and we haven't noticed. But this is the only line that rhymes so far. Except for it makes me wonder, it makes me wonder, but that doesn't rhyme. It's just the same. Feeling I get when I look to the west, that doesn't really rhyme. Leaving, seeing, trees, looking. No, this is the only one that rhymes so far. Wow. What yeah, I thought that stood out. Yeah, and it's whispered that soon if we all call the tune. So I've, so I've been writing the theme tune and I sing the theme tune and I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was a little Britain thing. Then, so, then... Yes. The piper... The piper... Will lead us to reason. Oh, that sounds boring. Like the only piper I've heard of is the Pied Piper. Do you know the story of the Pied Piper? Yes, the rats and then the children. Yes, I but, know. But but don't worry, he's going to lead us to reason. I mean, yes, he killed all the rats. Yes, he disappeared the children. No, he killed the children. 
No, that's he did not. He did in the original, like, so the, there's the Pied Piper of Hamelin, like, you know, the Disneyfied version or whatever. Yeah. Whatever, or the Golden Book version. But the, mm. um, yeah, the Pied Piper of Hamelin, so, like, he was paid to lead all the rats out of Ham- mm. Hamelin, yeah. I'm guessing, yeah. or, or it could be somewhere else. Um, and they didn't pay him, so he played his pipe and the children all left. But To be honest, dumb children. But what they edited it out, like later on in the mm. 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s or whatever, yeah. 20s, 30s, could have been, I don't know. I'm not a historian. I'm not even a podcaster, right? But they said um, so he drowned all the rats in the river. Yeah. But because they didn't pay him, he took the kids and drowned. went to drown them in the river. I had heard that the originally he does actually kill them. Yeah. But it's been sanitised that they all just yeah. go. Yeah. But I think they should keep that in because the kids Absolutely. these days are little bastards. They are. Eshay made, eshay. <laughs> but don't worry, Grant. He's not going to lead us. No, down. No, no he's not going to lead us to our deaths. No. Because we're not children. No. He's going to lead us to a lovely little place called Reason. I thought you said Raisin. Raisin? I was really keen for a dried sultana. Maybe he is. Mm, that'd be nice. Well, when why, the Pope says lead us, bear in mind that the song is sung yeah. from the point of view of Richard Branson, a fledgling Richard Branson, well, that's true. waiting for his stairway to get into the That is aircraft. true. Yeah. On what could be a very Maybe he's just paid a piper. You know what I mean? Maybe he's just, oh, I'm a millionaire. I'm just going to pay a bloke to pay the pipe. Yeah. The only person Richard Branson didn't pay was the ferryman. Ooh. Tight ass. Absolutely, and everyone knows don't pay the fair. I know, you can hear about that in one of our other podcasts. Apparently so. And a new day will dawn. Do you know I like doing callbacks to other podcasts? I know, you're pretty good at it. I, I don't know, I just, I just like it. It's good enough. Yeah, I suppose. A new day will dawn, you said? Yes, for those who stand long. Hello. 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 What's long here? Well, hello, and welcome back to rent a gent <laughs> For those stand who's... tall, stand long, boys. Stand... Remember that when you used to say that? Stand long, boys. That was our that was our thing every morning, wasn't it? When we get out of bed and you know, left foot, right foot, middle foot, <laughs> and the sergeant major at Rent a Gent would every morning he'd say, "That's it, boys. Stand long, boys." That's right. There was a there was a sergeant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That well, was weird. For you know, for a, for a fledgling corporation, it was weird to have a sergeant. I always thought. Remember, that was Rob, just me. Remember the guy. So like, you had the bed in just inside the door, and then I had the one by the window. Remember, remember the guy that had the bed in the middle, um, Rolf Harris. Um, What's he doing now? Um, well, he's. You don't hear anything of him, old Rolfie. No, well, he he apart from playing the wobble board, he yeah. um, also used that middle leg. Of his and did a character called Jake the Peg. Oh yeah, I do yeah. recall that. Yeah. I'm Jake the Peg. Diddle little little lump with his extra leg. Diddle little little lump. <laughs> but the fun part was it wasn't a leg. Oh. He just Rolf. Yep. He just stood long. You know, no wonder we don't hear from him. That's <laughs> disgusting. I, I thought he had a genuine third leg. He just lives in a forest now and tells jokes. Oh, you know what? Good for him. I'm, yeah. glad he, I'm glad he's leading the good life after the beautiful life that he led. Mm. Mm. So the next line is... Um, and the forests will echo with laughter. Do you know why? Why? Because Rolf Harris is in there telling jokes. Oh, you're telling... <laughs> oh, Rolf Harris telling jokes. Nice. Come that on. Was a, that was actually genuinely very good, Grant. I thought that was really good. I didn't think you'd see it coming. Oh, whoa, whoa. I can't remember how this bit goes when it goes, oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh. That's exactly how it goes. A oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. Yeah, and it makes you wonder why it was ever a hit. Because it's bonkers, isn't it? Isn't that the line out of um, Yellow from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh, oh. Chicka, chicka. Plagiarism. That is very true. This is blatant plagiarism. I think so. Yeah. So, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. You know what that is? That's the um, that's the script to the world's most boring pornographic movie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the digital code on something. Anyway. Uh, well, it could be the... Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh. So for those of you that couldn't see John there, which is everyone because it's a podcast... <laughs> I was physically doing the <laughs> was, That was a physical gag. <laughs> <laughs> so he was pretending. Just like, never, they say if you're doing a podcast, never work with a mime, right? But John was pretending to put his PIM code in, I guess. Mm. Oh, well, 
well, well, oh, oh. Yeah, is, yeah. yeah. I Which, did the finger in the and, and, to, and do you know what's worse? To explain it to our listeners, I just did the same as what you, you did, just You did exactly <laughs> the same and took way longer than just, yeah. Okay. I, you know what? I liked to imagine when I was doing, well, oh, well, 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 oh, oh. How? It was to defuse a nuclear bomb. Ah. Just in my head. It was like a James Bond moment, you know. So it's a, like an 80s synthesised keypad. Oh, well, 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 oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Okay, now I've got yeah. you. Yeah. And then you're doing that, or, and I've just diffused, well, maybe that we should have just diffused a nuclear bomb. Was it Simple Simon? Was that a game? You know that? I don't know that one. Uh, it's like It was like a disc, and it had like a red light, yellow light, green light, blue light. And you go, mm. and you had to repeat the pattern. And if you got it wrong, if you went, yeah. and it and was go, called Simple Simon, Idiot Boy. <laughs> it was called Idiot Boy, wasn't it? It was Idiot Boy. Imagine you were named Simon in the seventies when that came, that game came out. Like it was, are you serious? It was genuine. I don't remember. I think I remember seeing the game. Yeah, it was called Simple Simon. Yeah, have you got your phone? You can look it up. Look up Simple Simon. Go to your Google machine, and, and I'm pretty sure. And John's just, this is absolutely riveting. John's just looking up Simple Simon. And if, I'm, I hope I'm not wrong here. Have you got it? It's, it, does, it says Simon, not Simple uh, Simon. It, I, I'm just, unless, you added the simple. No, it, um, unless this is like one of those uh, Mandela. You might as well have called him retired as Simon. This could be a Mandela effect thing. Yeah, well. This could be a Mandela. I'm going to write down. Hold on, what is the Simple Simon game? Oh, no, there is a Patience or Solitaire card game played with a regular 52 cards deck. Four suits of 13 cards each without joking, blah, 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 blah. Nah. It's a card game. I swear it used to be called Simple Simon. Um, if you're right on the Facebook page, is it Simon or Simple Simon if you grew up in the 70s and 80s? Or is it Idiot Boy? It wasn't, that was my nickname at school. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Bring that up. Didn't mean to bring it up. Back to the bloody anyway, forest again. Anyway, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow... I beg your pardon, mate. Well, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow... You said you would... <sighs> don't be alarmed now. <laughs> if there was a bustle in my hedgerow, I would be very alarmed. Would you be alarmed? You know, well, if there was a bustle all... in my... If I was by my hedgerow and there yeah. was a bustle, yeah. I wouldn't be alarmed personally. Do you still trim your hedgerow? I do a bit of hedge trimming from time to time. You do? I have a, I have a hedge trimmer. Yeah. 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 I, but so, I wouldn't be worried about a a bustle in my head row. Well, I, I assume it's similar to a rustle. So, you know, out the front of my house, I've got a deck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very proud of my deck. Like, and You love oiling your deck. Yeah. And I, I do. I love oil. I, like, I oil my deck. I like to trim the hedges around my deck. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes well, it makes the deck look bigger. It does make the deck look bigger. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Last night, there was a, there was a, I went out, there was a, the dog was sitting on my deck. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard you say you love to get the family around on the deck. Oh, I love getting the family around on my deck. Yeah, I do. It's like, um, it's better you than... You've got to oil it. You've got to make sure you oil it, otherwise it fades over time. Well, um, you know, my neighbour opposite Fanny? Yeah? Fanny, yeah, Fanny was saying how glistening my deck was the other really? day. Really? Yeah, because oh, I just finished so oiling my deck. Yeah. Good. And she came over, I had a look and said, you've got a lovely deck. She did. Yeah. She did. And and then there was a bustle in my hedgerow. There was a bustle in your... But you, and you, were you alarmed? Well, I would have been, but you said to not be. Well, don't be, because it's just a spring clean for the May Queen. Uh, of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. That explains everything, yeah. doesn't it? You know who the May Queen is. She's the May Queen. And it's just a spring clean, not a big clean, just a little clean, a spring clean for the May Queen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't know how this song... If, if this song was written today, would it be a hit? That's my big question. I don't know. I mean, if Taylor Swift was singing this, who knows? Oh, yeah. Well, like, people would probably love it. I think it needs a re-record from Tay-Tay. I think somebody needs to do another cover and not um, our old mate, Rolf Harris. Rolf Harris. What's but Rolf Harris doing now? He's, I told you what Rolf Harris is that's doing. Right, he's telling jokes in the forest. Yeah, that's why everyone's laughing. That's good. Oh, there's a, hey, by the way, <laughs> yes... <laughs> There are two paths you can go by, but in the long run... What? That was it. Oh. <laughs> oh. And, yeah, but in the long run, and there's still time to change the road you're on. So, it's... yes, there are two paths you can go by, but in the long run. And so, grammatically, this is terrible. It is terrible. They obviously didn't have Grammarly. This, uh, uh, speaking of Grammarly, John, you can 
You can buy a Grammarly subscription for only thirty five ninety nine a month is what we'd be saying if we were sponsored by someone sponsored, like Sponsored you say? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Like you can use our code and all sorts yeah. of things to get a discount. Yeah, go to um, So if you go to Grammarly and you want Grammarly free for one month, all you have to do is type in the code, but I won't do that six nine four dash one seven five. And, and Grammarly um, won't give you anything at all because we have no affiliation yeah. with them whatsoever. But never. give it a shot anyway. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Wouldn't be give great it a try. if that worked. It would be brilliant. You know what, listeners? It would be brilliant if that worked. Give it a go. And you know what? You're welcome. <laughs> and it makes me wonder. It makes you wonder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I caught up a little late. Let's go again with that one. Oh yeah. Oh, let's hey. hang on. Let's go back and edit it like we always do. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's, okay. And it makes me wonder. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I, I can't remember in the song John, again what that woe means. John, John, John. What? Your head's humming and it won't go in case you didn't know. No, I didn't know. Is my head humming? Your head's humming. You know, if a suitcase hums, it's probably a bomb. It's not a tick nowadays. Is my head going to explode? That's from Fight Club. Yes. Yeah. That was my reference. I went there that quick. Yeah. That was really, really good. Do you like that I got that so quickly? And I never... love that you got that. In the event of said hum, we do never imply the ownership of the... <laughs> it's normally a, not, not a, your. your. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I remember. That's one of my fa- favourite movies. Yeah, we movie. should watch that. Um, Absolutely. But just so you know, I just saw your phone. Uh, it was actually a phone humming. Um, the pipe is calling you to join him. Is he? Well, yeah. I'm going to go then. <laughs> No, seriously, if it's the pie prop, I've got to go because um, it'll be fine. Because <laughs> he's going to lead me to reason and not this madness. Are you writing a letter? Writing a letter? Yeah. Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's oddly specific to write in a letter. So what are you writing again? Dear lady. Mm-hmm. I don't, I look, to be honest, I don't know her name. So I'm just writing, dear lady, hoping it, for the best. Someone you met at rent Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, dear lady. Yep. Can you hear the wind blow? <laughs> Why would you write a letter to ask if, can you hear the wind blow? <gasps> can you hear the wind blow, Clarice? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I it. Would, That's I would like... Animal lecture. <laughs> I would dear like... lady. <laughs> can you hear the wind blow, Clarice? Do you think fava beans and candy? I would like to eat your. I would like to eat your blowing wind with some fava beans and a nice chilky candy. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'd like to hear the wind blow with fava beans and candy. <laughs> so, um, do you know what? I, I, I've got so many random facts. I, I I hate my brain sometimes, but it's the ADHD in me. Do you know what fava beans are? Actually, you know what? I don't know. Do you, Do you want to know what? Not Favre John are? John Favre, who directed no. the movies. No, Favreau. Favreau. Oh no, sorry, that's completely different. Favre beans mm-hmm. are the beans in baked beans. That has brought Hannibal Lecter way down in my estimation. Yes, yeah. he's frying up a liver with baked beans and a nice chill county. Nice chill nice county. Yes, he's not fussy Favre. though. He hates people. Which is, I've heard, I've personally oh, not eaten. God, another disclaimer's coming up. Yeah, no, I've not eaten people. I mean, I'll just bury them. But <laughs> I've, I've heard that human meat isn't very good. Oh. So you're having human meat with baked beans. That mm. sounds dreadful. No, liver. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah human liver. liver. Human liver. Yeah. It just doesn't sound good. It reminds me of um, that, um, when you said you buried them, there was a, Doug Anthony also I used to go, um, Met a girl, couldn't track her. She was an English backpacker. I thought our love would last forever, but it soon just ran aground. Now I feel she's close to me. I walk across her endlessly. Do, do, do. She's buried out my back door. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like it was written about me. Your stairway lies on the whispering wind. That's a lot of stair... Is this the stairway from the beginning? I think it lies must be. on your whispering wind. Mm-hmm. Are you going to fit a stairway on that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, hold on, it's rising. It's <laughs> rising up. <laughs> Apparently, you can fit a uh, stairway, a motorized stairway, on the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there it is. Rising. <laughs> Get it back. It's floating into the sky. <laughs> We've got one more verse to go before As this we train wreck of a song. As we wind 
on down the road. Oh, I thought it was we wind on down the road. Well, it can be. Remember the words we said that sound the same? Wind, 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 wind. It's spelled the same. Yes, very true. There we go. As we wind on down the road. So we're driving. To, somebody's, she's driving down the road As in the... On her stairway. On the stairway. Yeah. Our shadows are taller than our soul. Our shadows are taller than our soul. Well, your soul is just your mind, your will, and your emotions. Is that just... So that doesn't really have a height to speak soul? of. Um, so have they only got one between Mathematically, them? you know, that kind of just like checks out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And their shadows are taller than their soul. Yeah. But their spirits are still crying. That's true. But they've got to stay away to heaven. So they're fine. Yeah, so it all works out in the end. Yeah. Good old Richard Branson. This is a beautiful car. I know. There's a, their walks a lady we all know. We all know. We all know. Everyone in the world knows her. Well, not everyone in the world, but everyone who hears this song. Oh. We, every, we, collectively, we who have heard this song, we all know this lady. Is it Carol Branson? Probably. Yeah, I don't know her. I don't know her. It she... can't be someone we all know. No, sure. Maybe right into the Facebook group. We yeah. Can, we can get together. Maybe oh. there is, maybe it's Jacinda Ardern. You know who maybe I think it is? Oh, who do we all know? Kelly J Townsend, who's uh, a fan on our page. And what she said today is that um, she was willing to be our lover and get with all of our friends. She did say it. Well, <laughs> John, John just about spat his drink out then. But yeah, so where could, is this going? So it could be Kelly. Is all I'm saying. Could be Kelly. Could be Kelly. The lady we all know. Yeah. Well, I know her now. So technically, well, I mean, right now in this moment, it's we, as in you, oh, and, you I and I, I know her. Yeah, we yeah. went. We went to Frankston TAFE together. So she's pretty famous. Studying hairdressing was that? No, no, no. Art. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did art before hairdressing. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm a natural so, progression. Isn't it ever? Yeah. Isn't it? Basically, what stories all this time? Basically, I did art at uni is a sentence that translates to I did drugs in 1991. That would be my sister's story too. She, yeah. she has an art degree, and I think that's that yeah, story checks out. <laughs> story checks out. That tracks. Who shines white light and wants to show? Are we still doing the song, or are you just asking me a question? No, I was just yelling stuff. <laughs> Who shines white light and wants to show? It's like one of the secret codes. Like if you're a spy and you want to, you're meeting it's another like a spy. Semaphore. It's semaphore with a light. Yes. Or it is Morse code. No, you, no, no, no. Like you know Morse how code. like if semaphore's you meet, a flag. <laughs> what am I talking about? You know, if you meet uh, another spy, you know you're a spy. Yes. And you Interna- to, international international spy. spy I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you go to meet another spy in a cafe or something like that. We do that and, all the time. And you have to have something to say that's quite cryptic. Yeah. And. So that would be who shines the white light and wants to show, and your response would be, however, how everything still turns to gold. Do you have the briefcase with the dried dog turds in it? I have the briefcase with the dried dog turds. Do you so, have the money? Yes, I have the money. It's already been transferred into your Swiss bank account. Fantastic. Take the dog turds. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> we never met. <laughs> well, we're idiots. Why are spies? <laughs> is there a real big underground trade in dried dog turds? Is it like for Chinese medicine? Don't you know? No. They make shoe polish out of it. I had no <laughs> idea. The things you learn on this podcast. Did you know that that's actually true, though? That shoe polish used to be made from dog turds. I didn't know that. So there was a um, yeah, a, a profession. Smell in... a little shoe. <laughs> <laughs> do, do smell a little, little shoe. You're going to have to smell his shoes. I'm wearing them too. Shoe, 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 shoe. They're my smelly, smelly little shoe. shoes. I'm lacing up my poopy sneakers. <laughs> 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 but no, seriously, like the um, sneakers. back in the times of let's say Les Miserables, yes. like those days, Olden times. in those days, yes. Um, one of the jobs of a person in that time would be that they go around with a bucket. And they would pick up excrement from the street, but they had to be skilled enough to determine the difference between a dog poo, a human poo, and a horse poo, say, and probably or a, a cat poo. And I've just listened to a podcast, pigs. As and well. pig poo. Pig poo. Yeah. So the dog poos were highly valued, and they would be used to make shoe polish. Hmm. Yeah. If I'm lying, I'm done. Look it up. Wow. Yep. True story. So that's why nowadays spies like us are in the dried dog poo trade. 
Just that saying. makes sense. No, that makes sense now. I never. My superiors just said take this dried dog poo, <laughs> and I just you know I obeyed because I was being paid a wage. To be honest, the we, amount of people I've killed over dried dog poo when I think about it. Anyway, we better wrap this damn thing up. And if you listen <laughs> very hard, how hard? The tune will come to you at last. Is that a? Th- it sounds threatening. But you have to listen hard. Or you it, can't just casually <laughs> listen. It could be either threatening or like a bedtime story. Like, you know, and if you and if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. Then all are one and one is all. Yeah, musketeers. Mus- oh, it's the three musketeers. You bet me to it. So is um Richard Branson one of the three musketeers? He's all three of the musketeers. And that's how he gets around on the jet. He gets around on the jet, he's waiting for the stairway to heaven, probably got a crime to solve in France. Can you name the three musketeers real quick? D'Artagnan? Athos, Porthos, Aramis. Is it? I think. I thought one was D'Artagnan. Yeah, one was D'Artagnan, but the three musketeers, yeah. and then D'Artagnan was the fourth. And he just tags along. He ta- yeah, I think in the story he was the young the young one who joined them to ah. become four, but it's... So it's Athos? I think. Athos, Porthos, Aramis, I think I just gave three different names. I think you did. I think I did. <laughs> Brian, Trevor, and Aramis. Beetlejuice. 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 <gasps> Shit, we said it three oh, times. Oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> to be a rock and not, not to roll. roll. Well, what's the point of having rock and roll if you're just going to rock and not roll? Reminds me of the movie Young Einstein. Have you ever seen that? I have seen oh, a long time ago. When he discovered rock and roll, uh, like so he's Einstein, but an Australian for some reason. Yeah. Four bars, four beats to the bar with a backbeat. In that state, gravity can roll to the downbeat, and therefore the body motion must rock to the upbeat. A new musical theory. Roll and rock. Do you know, I'm amazed you know that by heart. Well done. Do you know, I do know that by heart, but still do not know my times tables. <laughs> You are a mine of useful information. You said useless wrong. <laughs> Can I tell you one more thing? Go on. And she's buying the stairway to heaven. Apparently. <laughs> I'm so glad this podcast is finished. That is a long song. <laughs> a long song. John, thank you very much for bringing that one, man. That was an absolute classic. That was, that was, a, that was big. That was an epic song. Thank you, Led Zeppelin, for um, and um, Rolf, for putting that song together. Led Zeppelin wrote it. Rolf Harris made it famous. But you know what? It's not as famous as this song. Если он хулить не станет, а ведь он хулить не станет, если, конечно, Вова не подкрепится. Да. Трампа-рампа-пампа-рампа-пампа-пампа. Пум-пу-рум-пу-пу-пу-рум-пу-трампа-пампа. Пум-пу-рум-пу-пу-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-пу-рум-